Wild Boys SC. Wild Boys SC. Get wild, Hoja Nation. The Runaway Lane Train is loose again in LA tonight. Welcome to another episode of The Lane Kitten Show. Tonight's guest is my favorite crosstown whipping boy, Ricky New High School. Ricky coaches the UCLA Bruins, our favorite bitch school. Give it up for little Ricky. Fuck you, Lane. We'll see how high you're riding in two weeks after the NCAA drops the ban hammer on your program. We plan to swoop in on your recruiting class and siphon off the best recruits to Westwood. Who cares if they have to sit out a season? You snotty little asshole. Everyone's predictions of our looming probation are overblown. The NCAA is my bitch too, just like you Bruins. I see that you offered a scholarship to 13-year-old David Sells, a middle school quarterback from Delaware. SC might even be off probation by the time he graduates high school. I have to be careful with the younger recruits. When they get older, I can give them a go at my smoking hot wife Layla to keep them committed to SC. Or maybe I can get the SC song girls to drive across country for a little visit, just like I did with the Orange Pride hostesses at Tennessee. That milk drinker they hired to replace me in Knox Match released 13-year-old Evan Barry from his commitment to UT, so I'll be calling him up soon. Evan appreciates the Escalade with fat rims that Coach O gave him and is almost done with his driving lessons. Evan will be a great defensive back at SC in a few years. You can chase all the 13-year-olds you want. At UCLA, we just signed a top 10 recruiting class and you Trojans are about to become Bruin bitches. That's big talk coming from Slicky Ricky New Weasel. I have been pilloried for my paltry six recruiting violations at Tennessee. But at Colorado, you racked up over 50 before you skipped town for Washington and left the buffs on probation. I couldn't get hung up on all that rules stuff. I had a football program to run. And besides, you cannot get the best players unless you get them drunk and laid. Amen, brother. But don't you think the NCAA basketball tournament betting at Washington was a bit stupid? You were making over a million a year, and you blow it all on a basketball pool. You should have been tied up with spring, practice like the rest of us. The Pope bits on NCAA basketball. That moron compliance officer we had okayed beep all betting. What's a guy to do? I took Washington to the cleaners in court over my firing. But what counts is this season's big game between my Bruins and you Trojans. I will own your ass just like I did last year in Knoxville. You can trade up in schools, but it will do you no good. It is still just you and me coaching on opposing sidelines and your cocky smart ass is all mine. We'll see you in early December, and I'm looking forward to Christmas come early. Barkley and Prater will run wild on your Bruin asses and my D will turn your quarterback of the minute into an interception machine. That's all tonight folks for the Lane Kiffin Show where we talk the best smack in Pac-10 football. Give little Ricky a big Trojan raspberry. Wild Boys SC. Wild Boys SC.